Hey team, it's Leo. I just wanted to talk to you guys about our uh, uh, cells funnel and our CRM that we've been discussing. All of us have been looking around to see if we can find a good CRM that would work for us. I want to show you this one. It is called Trello or Trello. Trello.com. I've invited everyone to it. It's a great little application that I've used for software development and uh, uh, project management and a few other things but I just was thinking about it today it'd be perfect for a sales funnel it's very easy to use what you have across the top these are all customized uh, customizable you can modify them however you want but these are just lists each one of these gray boxes is a list and I've named them prospects initial contact visits uh, proposal one lost what I'm thinking is we have a prospect that is attached to us and each one of us will take three to five prospects a day and you will schedule time every day to reach out to three to five prospects and just check that off that you're done you set up the prospect here and then whenever you write them a letter or send them an email or f call them and and talk to them you can move them here and take some notes you can click on these to modify any notes inside them, add comments, to-do lists, uh, due dates, add labels. I've picked labels of yellow for prospect, means they're completely cold, orange for they're a lead, red for a lost, and green for one. So let's, let's just create a card. I'll show you how it works. So everybody logs in. You see the same thing. I've already assigned myself these two tasks. So I click add a card. Now where are the where are the prospects the prospect list? You can get to it inside of here. I've created a little URL for business prospects. And you do that just by clicking on this, takes you to a Google Drive doc, which I already had open here. And as I grab one, I mark it out. Well let's say I want to grab um, uh, let's see, batteries plus. So I'll go down here and I'll click on batteries plus. Control C. Um, let me close this out. Go back here and I'm going to add a card. I'm just going to paste them in right there. Now I want to uh, edit that card. And I'm going to go into edit the description and I'm going to put their address in, which is what I did. Let me close this so I don't have multiple open at the same time. So batteries plus, I'm going to pick their address. Put it in here as the address. Then I'm going to put in that I want to see their website. Uh, open parentheses, go back. Oh, actually, I want to put their phone number in there. So I'm going to go back and grab their phone number. Phone number, phone number right there. And put that there. Now I'm going to grab their website. Uh, website is there. Grab it. Paste it after the parentheses. Close the parentheses. I'm going to do a little bracket, and I'm going to do map, and open parentheses, and we'll go grab the map URL, and then paste it back in here, big long URL, and close it. And then if we hit save, there we've got a nice pretty little card for that prospect and this information. Now you can I can assign it. Um, actually, you can do all this stuff out here. So if you assign it to a lead, like to a uh, resource. I'm going to take that one and I will contact these three and then I'll move them over here to initial contact. After you move them in, like I said, you can always click on them and add more notes, uh, checklist, due dates, attach files, anything you want to do. I thought the attach files could be the proposal. Um, and you can edit the label. I'm going to put it a prospect because it's still a prospect. And then we can move them along here as we uh, as we move along with the relationship. So, the next thing I would do is probably go back here and pick Batteries Plus and uh, strike it. So no one, so everybody knows not to grab that one. This is collaborative, shared also, so all of us will see the same changes. And I'm thinking, if we look at revision history, uh, revision history, we ought to see that Leo made a change. Yes, so I modified that and did that strike through. All right, so that's good, that's good. Close that out, uh, close that out. And we're back here and that's what it should look like. Now we'll just grab these, like whenever you make contact and you'll just drag it over here. 
and then after you've made a few notes and you've scheduled a visit you can put it in here visit scheduled so everybody knows okay someone's going to go call on that client and then hopefully a proposal is delivered one lost all that jazz thanks a lot and let me know what you think and we'll start using this as our CRM